Bank of India. MD and CEO of CSB Bank is here with me, Mr. Rajendran sir. First of all, congratulations on the phenomenal response that we've seen on and on the bumper listing. Uh, so, what do you have to say to the shareholders who've made a merry out of uh, just the listing gains? And in terms of your performance, do we expect the same kind of uh, phenomenal performance to continue over next three to five years? We are overwhelmed by the response. There are 27,000 shareholders existing before this IPO, and new shareholders are added to this list. I'm surprised there were 10 lakh applications for this uh, issue on the, the retail segment, which is very encouraging for us. Now it will be a widely held company. Apart from that, there is an opportunity for the existing holders who stayed with us for 99 years to trade in the market also. That's a great opportunity. As far as the performance is concerned, stock markets are always future looking. So they look so much into the future, so it increases our responsibility to live up to the expectation and perform. Sir, so, uh, so going forward, as of now, uh, when I compare your, uh, you know, business metrics with some of the peers, regional peers specifically, so your loan book as of now, it's relatively uh, lesser. So going forward, and your tier one is higher now, there's more money that has come in. So going forward, what would be your targets when it comes to the credit? For the past 20 years, we were constrained only by lack of capital. We could not raise capital. Now we have enough of capital. Probably we have the uh, strongest capital adequacy in the market with 23%. And we asked for only 225 crores in the IPO. We got 20,000 crores response. That shows our ability to raise capital is also good. So we have the courage to go forward and increase our assets much faster than what we were doing. Growth can be much faster. The market is conducive today. And uh, NBFCs are uh, slowed down a lot. And that is a space in which we operate as a bank. So probably we have great opportunities. We will capture it. So what would be your strategy? Uh, profitable growth or market share gains? No, I would not like to focus on the top line number at all. As a strategy, we are always a bottom line focus to bank. Quality of the balance sheet is more important than the quantity of the balance sheet. That is what we see always. We will focus on the bottom line. Okay. And sir, uh, one of your most important segments, gold loan, that constitutes a large chunk of your book. So what would be uh, the growth targets there and also the SME book? Uh, SME book was not growing for quite some time. We are repositioning ourselves to grow the SME book going forward. Gold was growing at 24% compounded annual growth rate. And uh, probably we may grow a little faster than what we are growing in the past. As a proportion of the assets, gold is likely to increase beyond 33%, which is the number at this point of time. Okay, uh, so probably I, I'll catch you uh, again for this particular uh, question. But in brief, if you can answer uh, that, you know, some of the biggest banks uh, in, in the country, they go wrong with the SME, MSME portfolio, but it works really well for some of the regional bank such as yours. So what is it that you do differently? Is it the uh, better understanding of the market or what is it that works for you? I don't think so. I worked for la three large banks also earlier which were successful in the SME lending. The, if you are working in the clusters, SME clusters, and understand the business model better, they have close rapport with the clients and observe them and monitor them properly. SME is the best segment to be in because it, they are not uh, the finance professionals who run these companies. They are technical people who run. So we have to substitute them as a finance professional and guide them properly. Then SMEs will do well. That is our experience. And the regional banks have an advantage because they are in the same region and they understand these clusters and the businesses better and also the families of the promoters are known to them. That is one advantage for these small banks. So how far are we from an ROA target of one? We are 0 0.5 for the last half year. And when the balance sheet grows, automatically we must be in a position to reach those numbers. Three years? No, I don't like to give a prediction, <laughs> but certainly we want to achieve it much faster than what you are saying. Right. Okay, so one last question. Fairfax has to eventually bring down its shareholding. So any timeline given by them, will it be in a staggered manner or towards the close of the deadline? Over a period of five years, they have to bring it to 40%. Over a period of 10 years, they have to bring it to 30%. Over a period of 15 years, they have to bring it to 14%. We will adapt to the timelines. All right, Mr. Rajendran, thank you so much for joining us. And once again, congratulations, sir.